Uh, Steve. Steve? Can't you all see? With the overbite? No, 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 you don't know him. He's from Brooklyn. His friend was huge. Like, huge. Love you, May. Hey, can you shut the door? Guys, wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. Oh, that was awesome. To become an Avenger, are there like trials or an interview? Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Oh, all right. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. All right, kid. Good luck out there. This is my chance to prove myself. Peter, what is going on with you? I'm really sorry. I'm so busy. I'm slammed. Don't mess with me. Because I will kill you and everybody you love. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all across this poison world. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Joshua Freeman. Welcome back to Joshua vs. the Movies, where we react, review, and go against all your favorite movies. Today, the movie I'll be going against, standing in the red corner, Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming came out in 2017 and was directed by John Watts. Homecoming stars Tom Holland, Michael Keaton, Robert Downey Jr., and Zendaya. Homecoming looks at Peter Parker after the Civil War and shows how he tries to prove he's ready to be an Avenger to Tony Stark and everyone else. Homecoming was met with positive reviews, but we'll see how good the Homecoming is when it goes against me. The action of the movie will be genre, while the visuals and the stunts will represent how well Spider-Man's powers are displayed and how well the action looks. If you guys have any questions on the scoring template for each category, it will be in the description below. But I think we're all set, so without further ado... Let's get to the review. Fight. Round one. Things are never gonna be the same now. You got aliens. You got big green guys tearing down buildings. Yeah, I'll tell you what though. Not that bad, is it? Kids got a future. We'll see, I guess. See? All right. All right. Tension, please. All post-battle cleanup operations are now under our jurisdiction. Thank you for your service. We'll take it from here. Look, I have a city contract with the city. So I apologize, Mr. Toombs, but all salvage operations are now under our jurisdiction. If you have a grievance, you may take it up with my superiors. Who the hell are they? The joint venture between Stark Industries and the federal government, the Department of Damage Control. So now the assholes who made this mess are getting paid to clean it up. Hey, Chief, we still have another load from yesterday. You're supposed to turn this in, right? I'll tell you what. Let's keep it. The world's changing. It's time we change, too. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is just a good opening scene that does a good job creating a motive for Michael Keaton's vulture. And it also does that while not giving away too much. Fight. Round two. Join me and together, we'll build my new Lego Death Star. I can't tonight, I got the Stark. Mm -hmm. Stark entrance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll knock out the basic bones of the Death Star in my place, and... That'd be great. Let's move to the next question. Peter, it's nationals. I can't go to Washington because if Mr. Stark needs me, then I have to make sure that I'm here. Flash, you're in for Peter. Oof, I don't know. I got a hot day with Black, Black Widow, Widow coming up. up. <laughs> that is false. OK, 
Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This whole sequence of Peter in school is pretty cool. Especially with him making his web shooters in class. If you really think about it, you think like, wait, why is he making his web shooters in class? But that's really virtually the only place that he can actually make web shooters. So this is pretty funny. <laughs> so yeah. When it comes to the actors and acting in this movie, the standout is obviously Tom Holland as Peter Parker Spider-Man. I don't need training wheels. Just like him treating me like a kid all the time. It's not cool. He's obviously the perfect fit for the role. The other standout I would say is Michael Keaton as Vulture. I thought this was the anti-gravity gun. What? No, that's that one. Keaton's Vulture ends up being one of the best villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Also, Zendaya is entertaining as MJ. And even though I don't think Jacob Batalone was a good friend as Ned. Peter no Spider-Man. He was also well in his role too and kind of entertaining at times. So with that, the movie earns a 1.0 out of 1.0 for actors and acting. Fight. Round three. For a second. Thanks. Ah! Hey, hey, buddy, is this your bike? Does not change. Um, here's my report for tonight. I stopped to Grand Theft Bicycle. I hope this lost old Dominican lady. She was really nice and bought me a churro. But like, I could be doing more. You know, I'm just curious when the next real mission is going to be. It's Peter. Parker. Finally, something good. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Forget your pin number? Wow, you're the Avengers! <laughs> Can finally meet you guys? Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This whole sequence of Peter suing up and being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty cool. And when it comes to the visuals and the stunts in the movie, even though there are moments where there's obvious green screen, the movie still does well providing some great visuals throughout the film, and the stunts were great also. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.5 out of 0 0.5 for visuals and stunts. Fight. Round four. Dude, you have the suit, right? This is gonna change our lives. <laughs> DJ Flash! Peter Parker, what's up? You know, where's your pal Spider-Man? That's not Spider-Man. That's just Ned in a red shirt. What's up, I'm Spider-Man. Just thought I'd swing by and say hello to my buddy Peter. God, this is stupid. This is crafted from a reclaimed sub-Ultron arm straight from Sokovia. Here, you try. Tons of great stuff there. What's that? Letting off shots in public now. Hurry up. We're the only ones selling these high-tech weapons. Well, this must be where the ATM robbers got their stuff. I, I... You set us up? Hey, hey, huh? What was that?
Okay, so that's gonna be my point. This scene isn't bad, but what are the odds Spider-Man just so happens to see them shooting off the weapon while he's on the roof? Thus leading to him finding out the actual weapon and then pursuing them even more. Fight. Round five. Crap. Hey, that's one of the guys trying to kill me. What? Peter, no, stay there, Nick. Can you imagine what the boss would say if he knew where we were? This is so awesome. Staten Island? Maryland? How are you gonna get there if it's like 300 miles away? It's not too far from DC. Okay, so that's gonna be my point. There's no way these two guys are just walking around a high school without any suspicion at all. Mate, wait, now that I'm thinking about it, there's no way they can even be walking around a high school. They don't have a new visitor pass. How'd he get in? But my biggest problem in this scene is Spider-Man using Stark technology in this movie. This movie downplays Peter's genius in a way because Stark gave him a suit with everything built in, but Peter is smart enough to build a regular suit on his own. Yeah, it makes sense in a Marvel Cinematic Universe, but come on now. Fight. Round six. Good evening, Peter. Congratulations on completing the rigorous training wheel protocol. Plotting course to intercept target. Okay, well, as long as I make it back in time for the Cavalon, it's fine. Jump down. Detecting three individuals. Hey, suit lady, what are they doing? Activating enhanced reconnaissance mode. Target inbound. Whoa, they're in the middle of a heist. Would you like me to engage enhanced combat mode? Yeah. Oh. But what was that? You jumped off the sign and landed on your face. Oops. Rapid fire is the default for enhanced combat mode. Would you like to see more options? You have 576 possible web shooter combinations. Would you like to run a refresher course? No, just you choose. Sure thing. I had a visual. Green light, green light. Pulling in behind the caboose. No outgoing distress signals, you're all clear. Okay, so that's gonna be my point. This fight scene is cool and all, but I have two problems with this scene. First, you're telling me a high school, what, sophomore was able to override Tony Stark's genius billionaire playboy philanthropist program? Okay, and second, my point from last round was further proven by Spidey now having his own Jarvis. I mean, there's just way too much Tony Stark in a standalone Spider Man movie. Fight. Round seven. Karen, you have to get me to the Catholic as fast as possible. Sure thing. Oh, Ned, you're alive. Ned, Ned, where's the glowy thing? The glowy thing. Don't worry, it's safe. It's in my back. No, it's dangerous. You're missing the Catholic. Hey, Ned, for listen to me. Where's the Washington Monument? Hey, Ned's backpack is really dangerous. Don't let it go for an extra. The Washington Monument, the marble and granite are cut around the stone. <laughs> Oh, Karen, what's going on up there? Chitauri core has detonated and caused severe structural damage to the elevator. <laughs> oh my god, look at the ceiling. Just stay calm, everyone. Yeah. Estimating 10 minutes before catastrophic failure. We're very safe in here. The occupants are in imminent mortal danger. <laughs> what's wrong? Why are you hesitating? It's fine, just never been this high before. Doing. 
Don't worry about it, I got you. All right, this is your stop. Let's go. You're okay. You're okay. Why right, is everyone okay? Thank you. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is a pretty cool scene with Spider-Man in Washington on the Washington Monument. Fight. Round eight. <laughs> Okay, Karen. Activate enhanced reconnaissance mode. Sure thing. Let anybody get away this time. White pickup truck. Coming call from Tony Stark. No, 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 no. Don't answer. Mr. Parker. Nice work in DC. I, okay. My dad never really gave me a lot of support. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something right Don't now. Don't cut me off when I'm complimenting you. Sure about that. What is that? I gotta go. Uh, end call. Hey. I'll take those! Hey guys, the illegal weapons deal ferry was at 10.30. You missed it! Spider guy's here. Whoa, 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 not so fast! Are you guys okay? My okay. bad, that was a little hard. FBI! Ooh. What do you mean, FBI? Hey. Look out, look out, look out! Move, move, move! Peter, you're 98% successful. 98? No! No! no. Hi, Spider-Man. Hey, Mr. Stark, can I do anything? What do you want me to do? I think you've done enough. Previously on Peter Screws the Pooch, you hacked a multi-million dollar suit so you could sneak around doing the one thing I told you not to do. Those weapons were out there and I tried to tell you about it, but you didn't listen. I did listen, kid. Who do you think called the FBI, huh? What if somebody had died tonight? And if you died, I feel like that's on me. Okay, it's not working out. I'm gonna need the suit back. Please, Let's have it. I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. I don't have any other clothes. Okay, we'll sort that out. Okay, first off, I want to say that he should have known he was doing something behind his back. The fact that he left a tracker in D.C. and he'd been back in New York. Come on now. But the movie's going to earn a point right here. This scene is pretty cool with Vulture and Spider-Man showing off their powers. When it comes to the plot and the story, I like the origin for the Vulture and how the movie manages to fit Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But I have to say, Peter Sue really helped Peter out tremendously during this movie. From getting him into the monument to save his friends. How do we get in there? Activating reconnaissance drum. To his suit recording everything, which is how he knew about the ferry. I'm trying to figure out who the guys under the bridge were that night, but I mean, I can only kind of remember part of a license plate. I can run facial recognition on the footage of that encounter. I record everything you see. So it really makes me wonder how successful Peter would actually be as Spider-Man if he didn't have Iron Man's suit. Or the suit Iron Man gave him for him. He more than likely wouldn't have ended up tracking him to Maryland and the ferry. So I have to say, this movie really babysits Spider-Man's powers and really replaces it for the most part with Stark tech. So the inclusion of too much Tony Stark ends up hindering the plot in the story. Because Spider-Man's actual abilities are downplayed because of Iron Man's inclusion. So with that, the movie earns a 0.8 out of 1.0 for plot and story. Fight. Round 9. <laughs> this is dad. Here. Come on. Hi, Peter. 
You look very handsome. I'm gonna go get Liz. Okay. You all right, Pete? Yeah. Because you look pale. Wow. Oh, wow, do you look beautiful. Yeah. Doesn't she, Pete? Yeah, you look really good. Thanks. <laughs> well, hey, I'm your chauffeur. Sir, you don't have to drive us. Nah, nah, it's not a big deal. I'm going out of town. It's right on my way. When you graduate, what do you think you're going to do? Oh, um, I, don't, I don't know. Peter has an internship with Tony Stark. Stark? So cool. You got to hang out with Spider-Man. Really? Really? Spider-Man? Huh. huh. I've seen you around, around right? right? And we, we have her... Because of the voice, the voice you know. Um, and it's at my party. Huh. There's a great party. You were there for two like seconds. two seconds. <laughs> you disappeared. No, no, I did not disappear. disappear. Yes, you did. You did in DC too. <sighs> it's terrible what happened down there in DC, though. I bet you're glad when your old pal Spider-Man showed up in the elevator, though. <laughs> Pretty lucky that he was there that day. Good old Spider-Man. Spider <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Get in there, gumdrop. I'm gonna give Peter the uh, the dad talk. <laughs> Love you. Love you, gumdrop. Have a safe flight. Does she know? No what? <laughs> so she does. It. Good. Good. Peter, you saved my daughter's life. That's so I'm gonna give you one chance. Are you ready? Don't you ever, ever interfere with my business again. I'll kill you. I'll kill you dead. That's what I'll do to protect my family, Pete. Now, you go on in there, you show my daughter a good time. It's not too bad. <laughs> Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is probably the best scene in the movie with Vulture realizing Peter is Spider-Man just by hearing certain details. When it comes to the directing by John Watts, it's not perfect, but he does well having everyone showcase their powers throughout the movie with well-shot scenes. Just like this one between Peter and Vulture. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.9 out of 1.0 for directing. Fight! Final round, round 10. I didn't hear you come in. It's over, I've got you! <sighs> You're young. You don't understand how the world works. Those people, Pete, those people up there, the rich and the powerful, they do whatever they want. Why are you telling me this? I need a little time to get her airborne. for intercept green light green light oh yeah got a visual on the plane but feeling a little resistance it's probably just drag on the new turbines Thirty seconds to get to the cockpit and override their security.
Chief, Chief, they're losing altitude. Get out of there. I'm not going home empty hit. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This scene is pretty cool of Vulture showing off his powers. But I have to say, this didn't really need to happen if Happy would've just done his job, took the call, and called Tony for help. But at the same time, Happy has been ignoring Peter's phone calls all movie, so the movie survives this round. When it comes to the action, like I said before, the movie does well capitalizing and showcasing everybody's powers. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.5 out of 0 0.5 for action. So do you guys have it? That's my match against Spider-Man Homecoming. It turns out the Homecoming is lit as I end up losing this one. We're not done yet though. Let's go see where it fits on a scale. Let's go check out the final numbers. Okay, so when it comes to the final numbers, we have everything except for the editing and the score. There were no problems in terms of the editing, so that'll remain a 0 0.3 out of 0 0.3. When it comes to the score, the movie does well adding in the Spider-Man theme during certain areas in the movie. And I have to say, it sounds really good in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.1 out of 0 0.2 for score. So now that we have all the numbers, let's add them up. So the movie ends up with a 4.1 out of 4.5, and that gives it an A rating. So do you guys have it? That's my match against Spider-Man Homecoming. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And also, let me know which movie you want me to go against. Next week, I'll be entering another dimension. But until then, this is Joshua Freeman. This has been Joshua Where's the Movies. I'm going to see you guys in the next match. Hey guys, thank you for tuning into the match. If you guys want to see more content, we have the Feel the Love series with Brian Carey as he breaks down the methods of plant growth and also the Infusion Breakdown show where we discuss philosophy and world events. So don't forget to check out the content and I'm going to see you guys in the next match.